Here, we pay tribute to some of the legends of Hallmark we have lost. Hallmark Channel has been giving us a huge number of movies and miniseries for the past two decades. The heartwarming and feel-good Hallmarks may be cheesy but it makes you happier. While it gave us many romantic and cheesy movies and actors, we have lost some who have left behind their legacy and mark in the industry. If you have been watching them, you will surely recognize these actors. Here are the 11 actors we will surely miss especially during the holiday season. Number 1, Michael Kopsa. If you're a Hallmark fan, you will surely recognize Michael Kopsa for his role as Andrew McAndrick in Finding Father Christmas. Kopsa is not unknown in Hollywood, as his various skills don't just limit to acting. He is a voiceover artist, a musician, a painter, and even a carpenter. He died on October 23, 2022, at the age of 66, from a brain tumor. He played roles in various Hallmark movies and series, including Chesapeake Shores, Appetite for Love, A Rose for Christmas, Summer in the Vineyard, Valentine in the Vineyard, Welcome to Christmas, and Time for You to Come Home for Christmas. Besides Hallmark, he is also known for his role as Captain Windmark in Fringe and William Kingston in the series, Sacred Lies. You have seen X-Men Evolution, right? And know the role of the Beast? Yup, he was the voice on that one. He has done many voiceovers like in Littlest Pet Shop, Dragon Ball Z, and Ninjago. Fans will always remember him for his strong personality and the legacy he left behind. Number 2, Doris Roberts. Who doesn't know Doris Roberts? The actress in the hit sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond won for Emmy Awards for her decade-long role as Marie Barron. She was a woman who knew what she wanted. It led to her starting from small acting roles in 1955 to becoming a worldwide famous star. Doris was in the industry for almost 75 years. She died at the age of 90 due to a stroke on April 16, 2016. She will always be known as a motherly figure in all the movies, especially in Hallmark, and will be remembered for her role as Mrs. Miracle in the hit movie, Mrs. Miracle. She never stood with modern romance. So she always tried to show us the old-fashioned way. Number 3, Peter Falk. One of the legends, Peter Falk was around since 1958, with his debut film, Winds Across the Everglades. You might recognize him as Lieutenant Columbo from the hit TV series Columbo, the guy with a cigar and always rocking that trench coat. He is also known for his Hallmark movie, When Angels Came to Town, where he played the role of Max. Despite having cancer at a young age, it never stopped him from pursuing his dreams. Who would have thought a guy having a desk job would become such a great actor? Nothing ever stopped him and he always wanted to try more. The Emmy winner and Oscar-nominated actor had done several movies like The In-Laws, The Princess Bride, The Brinks Job, and many more, before he died on June 23, 2011. Number 4, and Hetchy. And Hetchy starred in the Hallmark Hall of Fame film, One Christmas Eve, which made her career take off. She debuted with Hallmark with the film O Pioneers and became a Hallmark family member ever since. She also played on our favorites, Silver Bells, and Christmas Carol. A Christmas special face we always enjoyed in the films, and died on August 12, 2022, from a tragic accident when she crashed her car into a house. It caused her to be in a coma, and later declared to be brain dead. This tragic accident was horrifying for all the fans. Number 5, Marta Dubois. The iconic Marta Dubois, best known for her role in the series, Tales of Golden Monkey, made her big screen debut with the film, Boulevard Nights. She was also famous for her role as Detective Roberta Hansen in the McBride franchise, and was ever since labeled to be a Hallmark icon. A figure well known for her fearless and strong leading roles, she later became an acting coach in Los Angeles. Marta Dubois died on May 8, 2018, from a brain aneurysm. Number 6, Clarence William II. Clarence William was an inspiration to many. He was best known for his role as Link Hayes in the crime series, The Mob Squad. He also played Philby in the 2008 series, Mystery Woman. Sadly, he passed away on June 4, 2021, due to cancer. Before passing away, he once said that the success of his 50-year-long career is patience. 
Number 7, Luke Perry. The death of Luke Perry was a huge loss for the industry. From playing Fred Andrews in Riverdale to Dylan McKay in Beverly Hills 90210, he was always high on fame with a big fan base. You will for sure recognize him as Archie's dad from Riverdale. The ladies' man was a fashion icon as well from his very young days. He was on several popular shows like Will and Grace, Criminal Minds, and Community. He left his traces in Hallmark as well with Goodnight Justice and Love in Paradise. In case you missed it, he also had a cameo in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It was heartbreaking for all the fans when he suddenly passed away at the age of 55 due to a massive stroke on March 4, 2019. We still haven't recovered from his shocking death. Number 8, Alan Thicke. Best known for his role as Jason Seaver in the iconic sitcom, Growing Pains, he was America's favorite television dad. For five decades, Alan Thicke was in the industry, behind, and in front of the camera. He was also a big part of Hallmarks from movies like Notes from Dad, Let It Snow, and Stop the Wedding. He passed away on December 13, 2016, forever to be remembered as television's best dad. Number 9, Kenneth Welsh. A legend that holds big importance in the filming industry, he was even declared the greatest performer of all time in Canada. Not just that, he also earned the name of a memorable villain from his 1990s series, Twin Peaks, from just a 10-episode arc. Can you believe that? This revolutionary actor had an 80-year-old legacy in films and television. He died on May 5, 2022, with his final appearance in The Kids in Hell. The industry lost the biggest talent in history that day. Number 10, Cindy Williams. Cindy Williams became a legend ever since her iconic role in Laverne and Shirley. She was the queen of comedy sitcoms and would make you laugh till your stomach hurts. She later worked with Hallmark on the film, Strawberry Summer. She was one of the honored actors and even had a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She passed away on January 23, 2023. Number 11, Kirby Morrow. This one is for all the animation and game geeks. You have probably seen his work in your favorite anime like Dragon Ball Z, Ninjago, and Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. He also played Captain Dave Kleinman in the iconic sci-fi, Stargate, Atlantis. In Hallmark's A Ring by Spring, he made all viewers swoon over him. Sadly, he passed away unexpectedly at the age of 47 on November 18, 2020, due to OD. Despite our heartbreaking loss, we still have the masterpiece they left behind, which will always make us remember them. Tune in for more videos like this and make sure to check out our other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.